Actually, when I was ten, I was always, you know, wanting to dress up like a boy, wanting to, you know, uh, do things that the boys. In fact, I did everything that the boys. To keep praying to God, asking Him, where is that little thing? Why didn't you put that little thing down there for me? And when I was about thirteen or fourteen, that one time I also thought maybe it was just uh, a phase that I was going through. But things didn't really change, and I kept fantasizing of becoming a, a boy. Uh, just felt that I was in a wrong body. When I when I reached that age again, I realized that it's too late even now for me to go and tell my parents or even discuss it with my sister or so anyone in India. I just kind of lived in the in the closet all these years. I uh, just hiding myself, protecting myself, not wanting to uh, lose uh, uh, my friends or my family. I was actually living in uh, in uh, a split personality. When I was alone or whatever, I would you know be the person that I'm actually I am. But when I was with family or friends, then I would portray myself as a yes, I'm a straight woman. I have no problems. When I disclosed myself to my family, and when they gave me the ultimate, said that you know. It's either this way or that way, you know. Uh, if you're going in for the change, then you are dead for us. We have nothing to do with you. We don't know who you are. That's that's fine. But you know, I need to get my happiness. I need to have that freedom of. I I can't be uh, feeling trapped always in this wrong body. I just cannot be trapped. My mind, everything is, you know, thinks and wants and does everything like a man. It's torture basically. You know, it frustrates you. I cannot keep you know hiding myself in the closet. I need to, you know, uh, come out because I'm damaging myself and I'm also damaging my son because it's all, all my frustration, depression. It's all coming out uh, on him. I also tried to kill myself during that time as well. Uh, but behind all of this, uh, my husband kind of stood there and told me that, you know, don't give up. There's always hope. I kept trying to adjust myself into society because in India, it 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 is just impossible to live freely. They still have to change a lot. The laws have to change a lot. So, if there is a law against uh, homosexuality in India, yes, in terms of you know uh, officers or uh, accepting uh, you know the gay people or especially a trans person has lots and lots of problem in India. Who are asked to leave their job and especially when he's uh, or she is going through a transition. It's. I think it would be easy for a, a gay or a lesbian or a bisexual uh, person to, you know, uh, go out and get job. They won't be harassed that much. But in the recent five years, things are changing in India. There are having a lot of gay parades. There are, you know, people who are fighting for the gay rights. Now you are with your son and your husband in the Caribbean. Y yes, I am. I ran away because I wanted my freedom. Just before I could decide to tell my parents, I told my son. I was giving him slight hints and. Recently, I I started uh, talking to him and telling him about myself, and uh, he was very upset. I mean, I'm constantly talking to him and telling him, you know, that everyone has uh, different feelings or they feel different for people, or, you know. So finally, he has come to the terms, and he's told me that uh, at the end, you are my mother, and you know, it's your life, and it, it's who you want to be, and I would love you, although. It has hurt me a lot. I was still living in that fear of, you know, uh, hurting him in any any manner. I didn't want to because he is my world. He's my everything. How old is he? He is 12. Very recently, when he heard it from someone else, also he came home uh, saying that I just hate you guys. I hate everything, and you know, I had to like really calm him down. Uh, and his dad also had to speak to him and calm him down and tell him that he needs to. Understand. I do give a lot of credit to um, my son's father because he has, you know, always pushed me forward. And he said that you will, you know, go there and live your life as you want, and you will achieve what you want. You will become what you want, and I will help you to do that. And if we have made that sacrifice and we've come here, then you should just start living the way you, know, you feel.